Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely, and welcome to my channel. My channel is about ascension, soulmates, twin flames, and love. Always passionate, romantic love. Thanks for joining and watching my videos. If you want to get updates, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button. So in today's video, I want to talk to you about the equinox. Equinox happens twice a year. Equinoxes are times of major change. It's not as delineated as, you know, like crossing over something as it happens at the solstice. The equinoxes are different in the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. This equinox is about a lot of changes and the hand is being forced to make changes. Now, people, when they hear this, they think, well, that means the government. Well, yeah, we want the governments to change. After all, if governments don't evolve with us, we don't evolve. Um, but it's more than the government and frankly, people work in the government. That's part of the gray areas here. And I have done this for 15 years. And in the time that I have worked with people on a one-on-one -on -one basis, I've talked to people in many walks of life. God just doesn't wake up people just in a church. God just doesn't wake up people at a meditation. God's waking up people in all areas, at the police station, in the courthouse at the doctor's office, at the hospital. There's a lot of people who have really big hearts and they are right there on the front lines. Also, people who've been on the front lines, they're burning out. It is going to be their time to start going through some of the Ascension stuff. You can't scoff at those people. You can't be all spiritual and then be against them. That's just not spiritual. Now, how do you do this? I'll tell you how. It's by raising the bar. The expectations are being raised. And so that is a part of the energy of this season during the equinox. It's not going to happen right on the equinox. Okay. There's a lot of people that abide by, you know, doing everything exactly on that time. Many times it happens afterwards. It's all of that like stuff that begins tumbling out and you're looking at it because it's like someone cleaned the attic, right? Or there was a flood and suddenly there's things floating in there. Not fun. And what about those soulmates anyway? What if they came with a warning label? They're not going to. You know what gives you the warnings? Your body. Lately, I've been seeing a lot of people making comments about, I wish I had listened to my body or my body was giving me signals. You're supposed to, okay? But in order to get the proper ones, the proper interpretations and meanings, you have to get your light body open. There are high heart channels here that helps you with discernment of your hearing. That is not just your throat chakra. That's part of your high heart. That's why people will add a whole list to what goes with your throat chakra. No, there is much more to it than that. Your throat chakra isn't about just speaking your truth. It can be that, and it's much more. It's about interpreting the truth. It's about discerning the truth. It's about discerning the things that are not said. It's about discerning the things that you can say or how to say it so that the other person is receiving it properly. It's about communicate between you and your higher self, which involves true heart communication, true inner heart communication. Telepathy will be a thing of the past. Hypnosis will be the th a thing of the past for some people because it won't be able to tap into those same old mental areas anymore. You can't heal just by healing the mind. It has to engage every aspect of what needs healing. That's why as a multidimensional healer, I love to run my classes at the change of the seasons, at the solstice, on special events such as Valentine's Day. And I hope you'll be joining me for my Equinox event. So please, let, um, please join. The links are below. If you want to uh, have any questions, we do have a live question and answer. And I am putting this on with uh, one of my student practitioners who is no 
no longer at the beginning student. It's time for, yeah, raising the bar. We are doing it and I would love for you to join. We love to do these things. We have a lot of fun. You get to meet people that are pretty much not on just the same page, but at the same vibe. Like, let's get some synergy going. It is a safe group. You will feel things, activations, and I am not just working from 3D to 4D or 4D to 5D. I work all the way up through the dimensions. And so I am a Blu-ray. I am what is called a Blu-ray. I'm a prototyper, which means I pave the way. I get put through my paces. I get shoved through the obstacle course so that I can help make it easy for you. And that's what I consider part of what I, the mantle that I've taken on. It is to go through it with high divine guidance. I channel my own higher self. I work with a team of ascended individuals, many of which you'd know the names. I'm not going to say the names because you got to focus on your own soul. Come on. You're not crazy. Let's get with it because we got places to go next year. And so if you, I would love for you to join, please check the links below or reach out to me. Time for real change. And that has to mean for your natural physical life too. What do you love to do? What would you love to be doing? Let me help you get there. Thanks so much. Bye.